Hi everyone and welcome in this new video. In this video, I will show you my process that I follow to create a profitable trading strategy. Let's get started. The goal of this video will be to explain this graph step by step to allow you to understand really deeper how I would create my trading strategy. And really stay until the end because I will give you a lot of tips and you really need to know them all to create a trading strategy. And if you want some Python code associated to it, you can go on Quantrio, my website, and check about the AlphaQuant program. The first step will be to find a trading idea. And it's really important to keep in mind several things when you will do it. The first thing to do is to understand the assets that you want to trade, because you can't create a trading strategy and then apply it to all the assets. For example, you can't use a DCA, dollar cost average, which means, for example, I will take $100 per month of the stock A, for example. You can do that on the Forex assets. Why? Because the currency pairs are more stationary than the stocks, for example. The stocks can grow continuously, but the Forex assets not. So, for example, a dollar cost average method on a very long term can be really bad if you use it on the Forex asset. So that's why you need to keep in mind always your trading goal. For example, I want to achieve 30% per year with a maximum drawdown of 10% and also the assets that you want to trade. Once you have that, you can develop your trading plan, which means create the entry signals and the excite signals. And before going deeper, we need to be sure that we have data available for this trading strategy. It's the first stop of my process. If I have a good trading idea, but I do not have the data to implement it, I will just stop there and I will test another trading strategy. The second step that is one of the most important is the data preparation. You know that you can have the data. Now you need to pre-process them. You need to import them. You need to clean your database, apply some transformation to create stationary data if you want, for example. That's where you will do all your features engineering. The first step will be to create your trading strategy. You need to put as input the data and you need to have as output some entry signals and excite signals. The goal of this step will be to create an algorithm that will give us some trading signal. On this step, you will work only on the train set. So you will take, for example, 80% of the data on which you can do anything that you want. You can backtest it, go backward, change parameters, do some optimization. You can really do whatever you want. Once you have your best algorithm, you will backtest it. And that's the fifth point. You need to backtest your trading strategy, but be careful, you have only one try to avoid to have some overfitting problem. So if you think that your trading strategy is really good, you can backtest it. If it's not good in the backtest, you just leave this trading strategy. Trust me, I do that 99% of the cases because it's really long to find a profitable trading strategy. And if the backtest is really good, you can just go forward in the different process. But it's important to understand that in the backtest step, 99% of the cases, you will not go forward. You will just leave the trading strategy and create another one. Then in the sixth part, you will just do some robustness test. The goal is to understand if your trading performances or due to randomness or not. And if your alpha, your trading strategy, is not too sensible to its parameters. For example, if you use a moving averages trading strategy with two periods, for example, 20 and 60, if you use 19 and 61, you should have nearly the same results, okay? If when you use 19 and 61, you have really bad results, but if you use 21 and 59, you have amazing results, for example, it means that 
your algorithm is too sensible to its parameters and it's not really good. So if you find that your trading strategy is not really robust, you just need to leave it there and go forward to be sure that once you will put a trading strategy in live trading, you have really do all the things that you can do to minimize the odds to have an overfitting problem. Then the seventh step is the incubation step. In this step, it's really easy. You will take your trading strategy and put it in paper trading. After three months, six months or 100 trades, you will just take a look of the performances and you need to have performances normally equal to your backtest. For example, if in your backtest you have an annual return of 30 and here on 100 trades you have minus 50%, it means that you had an error in your process, in the previous step of your process, and so you need to review your process. Or maybe it just means that this strategy is not profitable anymore. But at the end, it means that you can stop the process there and test another trading strategy. And obviously, you can test several trading strategies in the same time, okay? You can do all the steps from the trading idea to the robustness test, and after that, you can keep several trading strategy in incubation to do not waste a lot of time in the incubation period. Then if your trading strategy has nearly the same results as in the backtest period, you can just put your trading strategy in live trading. And it is the eighth step. But when you do that, you need to monitor always your trading strategy. What does it mean? It means that when you have your trading strategy in live trading, you will perform continuously some tests, for example, about the drawdown or maybe about the robustness of your trading strategy to be sure that once the edge of your trading strategy is gone, you just stop your trading strategy and you had earned some money with this trading strategy and you stop it before you will lose money with this trading strategy because the edge is gone, okay? It's really important. It's maybe one of the most important steps because if you are not able to say, okay, I will stop this trading strategy, you will never earn money because you will earn money with a trading strategy and then lose money because the edge is gone. So the goal is to earn money with a trading strategy. Once the edge is gone, you will put instead another trading strategy and so your portfolio will grow continuously because you will update it when it's necessary. So I hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It's very essential for my SEO.